Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and I would like to welcome you to another weekly live room results. Today, uh, as you can see of course, we have positions running, we have pending orders, some of them are a little bit uh, old from the previous week, but we have of course positions running and like let's say Euro CHF if you remember we already have our win-win scenario last position locked profit sorry 130 pips but we have also some pending orders to go short but let's focus for um, on the trades from this week I will start with USD CAD and at the beginning of the week from our higher settings we have a big wedge and as you know on the big wedge what we like to do is either wait for a breakout or bounce trading and you can see here we had many opportunities 70 pips again short 70 once more if we count this one to three 50 pips yeah almost 200 pips some people took out four uh, sorry 200 pips from this bounce opportunities and now of course after the breakout we are looking to go long adding all these entries here just by USD CAD it was 5% in our winnings now on Euro Yen also we've seen that we had a very powerful touch on our resistance area price retraced wanted to retest it this is a more conservative bounce trading we know the rules this was my second touch I cut my lower high and then with an entry of 25 pips win-win scenario already again last position now is on 75 pips so now on euro yen 3% on GBP New Zealand dollar of course we have we had several opportunities we knew price was facing support area and some resistances here many of you took this bound short when price reached the higher settings resistance some of you took the bounce from here if I measure this this would be like 40 pips of an APO for a bounce. You can see price has reached 180 pips. So that means uh, more than 4%. And if you have re-entered again because probably you trailed your APO and you get stopped out here, you had another chance. Another opportunity for again 40 pips and 180. So uh, we know GBP pair were volatile, were volatile. This had to do probably with some news, Brexit, etc. So, 360 pips only with one single, uh, from one single pair. Two bounce trades, 180, same approach here. So, I would say more than 9% only from GBP New Zealand dollar okay let's count only one direction okay I don't want to um, think that we are trying to exaggerate things besides you already know that we have achieved this kind of percentage in the past GBP CAD another volatile pair we have identified double triple tops and multiple bottoms of course um, major support and resistance but the thing is that price didn't give it too much of attention again what we had here was our classic uh, conservative bounce you can see the spikes retracement price wanted to retest that and with a pending order more or less uh, 40 50 pips you would have gone already 100 170 you already know of course till this 140 pips 
you will have your first and second target. That means in pips it will be much more higher. Incremental profit strategy also very good one and um, GBP card is at least 3%. Finally, on USDCHF, we saw a very powerful bounce. We had the crossover of the MAs. If you didn't took the first one, you could have taken the second. And that because this was previous week. And three, this week was like 50 pips and already 120, 130. Win-win scenario, let's count only our winnings 2% also on USD CHF. Again this week more than 900 pips in profit more than 20% also in ratio according to our accounts according to our risk and I think also again it's one of these very nice weeks. Uh, thank you very much for watching one of our videos have a great, great, great weekend. Happy Easter and see you again Monday morning with our top-down approach. Bye-bye.